All right, we want to uh, try to do this vector addition problem. There's three vectors here, A, B, and C. Um, I've tried to draw it out as best as I can. We're going to try to add them together. Uh, the first thing we always want to do um, is actually get the degrees from north all the way around to the vectors. So vector C here, which is 20 degrees uh, north of uh, east, um, we'd actually put in a degree here, and that would be 70 degrees there. We want to go down to vector B, um, uh, that was 40 degrees south of east, so if I go from here um, all the way down to here, then that uh, vector would be 130. And then the last one, if we want to go all the way over to the green vector, um, 63 degrees south of west, so if I came extend this axis here. If I came here all the way around to the green, then that would be 207 degrees. Okay, we, we always need those angles because if we use those angles then we can figure out um, i hats and j hats uh, with the same equation every time. Um, if I take any vector, um, like this green vector here, this vector is going to be a, a j hat down and an i hat to the left. So the i hat and the this is your i hat this is your j hat your i hat and your j hat are both going to be negative down and to the left is negative uh, the b um, would be down and over so it's going to be a negative j hat and a positive i hat and the c would be a positive <clears throat> j hat and also a positive i hat if i came over like this and the easy way to figure out the vector components of each of these is i hat is always going to equal the vector times the sine of the angle from north. So we got to get that angle from north. And the j hat is always going to equal the vector magnitude times the cosine of the angle. So if we start with vector c right here and we wanted to figure out the i hat and j hats, we would take um, 7 degrees is our angle from north right there. Our vector is 150. So for the i hat right here, we're going to take 150 times the sine of 70. And then for the j hat, we'll take 150 times the cosine of 70. And so on with everything. So if, if we do that for uh, vector c, if you plug that in, 150 times the sine of 70 for your i hat, that's going to be 141 i hat. And then if you take 150 times the cosine of 70, um, you're going to get a plus 51.3 j hat. That's your vector C. If we look at vector B, how do I get my i hat? This, this one right down here, i hat. Well, um, the formula is the vector times the sine of the angle. So it's 198 times the sine of uh, sine of 130. It's 130 degrees down to there. So 198 times the sine of 130 is 152 i hat. And then 198 times the cosine of 130 would be my j hat. That will be a minus 127 j hat. See, it's a positive i hat because it's going to the right, and it's a minus j hat because it's going down. And then vector a would be um, 100 is the magnitude times the sine of 207 is a negative 45.4 i hat. So it's a negative i hat, which is what we expect it's going to the left. And we'd also expect a negative j hat because it's going down. So that would be 100 times the cosine of 207 degrees is a minus 89.1 j hat. So those are our three vector com vectors written not in uh, regular vector format, but actually component format, i hat, j hat form. That's how you can draw or write another way to express uh, these three vectors in their component forms. So if I want the resultant vector, all I have to do is literally add them up. So I'm going to take 141 plus 152 minus 45.4 to get my resultant vector i hat and it's going to be 248 i hat. I'll take 51.3 minus 127 minus an 89.1 and I'll get a minus 
165 j hat. So there's your resultant vector written in component form. Now, of course, we're going to want to take it back into a regular form. So that's easy to do because um, um, all we have, we, we could redraw this out here, and we have a positive 248 i hat, so we could go over 248, and then we could go minus 165 j hat, so we can go down a 165 and then from the tail of the first to the head of the last there would be our resultant vector now how do I calculate that well this is very easy this Pythagorean's theorem so you can always take your I hat squared plus your J hat squared and then uh, take the square root of that so if I do that I take uh, 248 square root of 248 squared plus 165 squared, I get um, 298, uh, whatever these things are, units. 298 units would be the magnitude of this vector. So it's pretty easy. All you do is take each vector, you divide it up in your I hat, J hat components, add them up, and then do Pythagorean's theorem on it to get your actual vector again. Now, of course, we're not done here. We actually need to figure out um, the angle uh, where this particular vector right here is located on on the uh, grid. Well, we can uh, figure out this angle here first um, because that's pretty easy because you have an opposite side and you have an adjacent side. So the so we would use tangent tangent of this angle. And I'm kind of running out of room here. I'm going to kind of come up here and draw it tangent of theta will equal i hat or j hat over i hat in this particular case here so it'd be 165 opposite 165 over 248 so i can divide those take the inverse tangent and i would have my angle that angle is going to be 56.4 that theta is going to be 56.4 degrees Technically a negative 56.4 degrees, because if you remember this j hat it was negative, and if you left it in there, this would be a negative, and you'd get a, a negative angle, a negative 56.4. But we're not that just means it's 56.4 degrees below um, east. So we're not gonna really worry about that too much. We can just do the absolute value that this angle in here is 56.4. Of course, we're gonna add it on uh, to the 90 degrees. And we take 90 plus 56.4, uh, and uh, or let's see, actually, what did I do? No, I'm not going to get 56.4 on that. I, I did that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, this is going to be like 33. It's going to be 33 instead. This angle was my 56.4. If I, because earlier I was doing this, I went I went down 165 and over, and I figured out this angle instead. So that would have been tangent of the angle would have been 248 over 165 would have been flipped. Okay, so this angle in here is 33 degrees, and uh, if I add that on to 90, uh, basically it's 298 units. Um, if I come over here and write on the side here, 298 units at um, basically about 123 point, about 124 degrees. About 124 degrees is where that is. Okay, so the I hat, J hat method is a very easy method. You get your vectors, you divide them up into I hats and J hat components, you get your angles measured from north all the way around to the vectors, and you use these two equations to figure out your I hats and J hats so that you can put them into this form and then they can just add them up, get a resultant in I hat, J hat form, do Pythagorean's theorem so that you can get the actual magnitude, and then uh, redraw it right here and uh, figure out what the angle is and add it on to whatever you need to add it on to get the angle back from north. Hope that made sense.